Hello YouTube. Pirate Wizard Dragon here. Just thought I'd say hi, do a little update. I went for a walk today, a traditional walk. I haven't been going out for, I haven't been doing like walks outside for months now just because the weather has been cold. Plus, um, now that I'm not masking up and is worried about COVID, I've been going back to the Coliseum here where I live. Uh, it's got a beautiful indoor running track that, um, is really much easier on my feet and then I don't have to dodge cars and traffic lights and dogs and redneck humans you know the usual stuff that's here in town wandering around so I uh, am on spring break technically but I'm not actually gonna take much of a break I'm gonna work on a piece of art that I'll be sharing probably in the well I have to finish it by April 6 so I'll be sharing it within the next month it's gonna be Hopefully, uh, something that I'm proud of, but it's also going to be uh, very controversial. I'm intending it to be. Um, I am going to be attacking the institution of Catholicism with this piece of art in reaction to my art survey class. Jesus, man, there's a ton of traffic today. I thought that it would be quieter down here. Um, it's Sunday. Uh, school's out here in the town, the college town where I live, so... A lot of the people go home on breaks, which makes it a lot more mellower. Um, I I got frizzle fried last week. I had a lot of I had three really distinct um, difficult days. Jesus, man, it's like a fucking goddamn parade up there. I'm underneath this tunnel where I love to go because the graffiti, and it's like one of the only places here in Hayes that. It says it gets better. It makes me feel like, I don't know, it just reminds me of Southern California. I spent a lot of time under bridges and in tunnels and graffiti written areas of San Diego when I was homeless and alone. So I like to come down here just to do some of my short update videos and, I don't know, just reinvigorate myself and revitalize myself in a way. I don't know. I love these kind of areas. I love the tucked away street art graffiti or graffiti areas of towns because they just remind me of home or the home that i was born in san diego so so yeah that's why i'm down here just uh I'm on spring break i'm working on stuff mentally I had that just uh, the last week before the, this last week was really really hard i had a lot of just really shitty things. One of, one of the things I did this, um, I did, I spent a lot of time on a project for a class for this introduction to theater class. We had to rewrite Hamlet and, uh, you know, the teacher is an older guy that is a stage lighting kind of guy. And, uh, that's all he really cares about. He doesn't care about any really other aspects of theater. So it, it seems. And for like three weeks all he's talked about is this goddamn conference that he was going to and that pretty much was the focus of his class was this conference and uh so he went on this conference and he live streamed it from the conference and that's all he's been yammering out about and he gave us this project to work on which was a rewrite of five scenes of hamlet and he only put up like five very you know simple instructions to 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 comply with this project and he said if you wanted to do extra credit you could build a, an actual stage out of you know shoe boxes or pizza boxes or whatever so you know and uh, he didn't put any real parameters or limitations on how many stages there could be how long the presentation could be or anything and uh i requested to do my presentation friday um but anyways i don't want to make a big deal of it. it's not that big of a fucking deal it's just that like I'm pretty much the only student in class paying attention. Everybody else is fucking off on their phone. I have collections of pictures now I take in class of people playing video games on their phones while this huge 300, there's a, it's, it takes place in this 300 seated auditorium on campus. That's the theater. And he lets anybody sit wherever they want. So most of the people sit in the back, can't even hear him. You know, he's, he was really hard to hear the first couple of weeks of class cause he was wearing a mask and, uh, nobody pays attention. I am, there's seven of us in class originally. I think it's down to five or six there's two have dropped it and most classes i'm the only one actually listening to his lectures and uh and they're boring as hell like sometimes i just have to be like because he doesn't really talk about theater he talks about his experiences in theater his life as a stage and lighting dude so it's his just reminiscing and going on on stories and it's just it's just him yammering basically for you know the hour that we're in there 
and, and some of it's interesting. I was more interested at the beginning of class um, before I realized he was just a he had a, he has a, he he like a lot of people have they just have issues with power. You can tell like it, uh, he specifically told me not to ans ask questions one time in class because he wasn't able to, he was he didn't think he'd be able to get through his lecture in time if he answered my questions. So he's discouraged me from asking questions and. When I did this presentation, it was it was twenty over twenty minutes long. I rewrote this super high concept. I might share the video and edit him out at the end, critiquing it on Facebook. But I did this super high concept of futuristic robots that were fully converted androids versus um, almost all converted except for their brain organic materials, and they were the brain operating androids, which were boas, and then there was the fear, which is the fully uh, fully android evolved robots or something like that but i did I, I rewrote five scenes and i and and for extra credit he said we didn't have to but we could just draw it on paper or we could build a scene so i spent like two days like probably about four hours putting together this scene with all these like seats that i had from uh from a box of star trek stuff that i had left over and all these figures and i built three different platforms and scenes and all this futuristic toy stuff i put together to make this really cool theater scene and uh, I was the only one that actually did that. I was the only one that actually wrote a high concept. I was the only one that actually shared, you know, a 17-page slideshow that I wrote and did all this goddamn work on it. Two of the other students in class did Star Wars. They rewrote Hamlet as Star Wars. And literally just screenshot pictures off Google of Darth Vader and fucking Luke Skywalker. And were like, this will be Hamlet and this will be, you know, Claudius. And it was just like, really? That's about as original as a fucking, you know, I don't know creating the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and calling it your own but uh i just it was very frustrating and i knew i'd be the one that did all the work but that wasn't what frustrated me is that before class started the other teacher i have for theater who's actually teaching me the acting classes she came in and saw the set and she was like wow look at this this is amazing like she loved it she she was like this is this is really cool like and then you know she'd been she I gave her the the, the printout because we had to do it on PDF and send it in on a you know fucking slideshow thing and so it could be technologically put up on the on the screen and then I also printed up a copy so we could follow along as I read it two color copies of the my 17 page slideshow and all the writing that I did for it the rewriting of the scenes. But uh, she came in and she loved it and she was very complimentary of it and then the teacher came in Carl. Uh, and Tommy, who's my acting teacher, was like, look at this. This isn't the usual shoebox. This is, this is, this, you put a lot of work into this. And what do you think? Are you impressed? And he said, we'll see. We'll see. I was like, really? And then I could just tell the way he fucking answered her that he was going to shit all over it. And that's what he did after the 20 minute presentation. He's like, mm, he got up on the stage and he didn't, didn't even focus on anything, but like, well, why is there three stages? I was like, cause I wanted three stages and you didn't tell us there couldn't be three stages. He's like, well, in a theater, there's only one stage usually. I was like, well, I use my imagination and I imagined a theater with three stages because you didn't say that there had to be one theater. He's like, well, you have to figure out how to explain how all this would be converted to one stage and how this stuff would move around and blah, 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 blah. I was just like, you know what? You didn't say that in the instructions. I need parameters or I'm going to use my imagination to the fullest capacity that I want to. And that's what I did. I was like, this was a blue a blue sky project that never was going to be done in the in reality so i imagined an infinite budget and used my brain just to have fun creating these three scenes and that's what i did i was like if there was it, it, it's not like without tech not with it's not like with technology and money you couldn't convert all this shit to, to, to one scene if you wanted to and that's not what i'm here to explain you didn't say that that was anything we had to explain we had to rewrite hamlet with high concepts and imagination so that's what i fucking did and so it just pissed me off because, honestly, some of these classes, it really feels like the, the professors want you to do less work so they have to think less so their job is easier. And nobody cares in this class. And I stopped caring after that. Like, I'm going to purposely try my best now to disrupt his class with many questions that are going to be open-ended. And I'm going to confuse him and use my entire brain to make his class difficult from here on out and I don't give a fuck what grade I get because the guy's a moron and that's how I feel like I'm just tired of tired of giving a shit about grades like a lot of these classes I try so hard to get a good grade and I do all this work and it doesn't matter they don't care I mean I literally have one teacher that's just entering in the grades into the fucking 
the blackboard and we're just copying shit off of a fucking thing in class. And it's like, really? This this is a university, this is a state university I'm going to. I had freshman classes in high school that were fucking harder than this shit. And I know I'm taking theater, so I shouldn't bitch if I was taking like science or, you know, whatever. It'd be different. But at the same time, like, have some fucking pride in what you're teaching and and realize not everybody there is a 20-year-old fucking zoner that's zoning out the whole class. That some of us actually took this for self-edification and they want to learn. So I just struggled last week because so much of the shit that I'm I'm doing is it's just make work and nobody really cares. And I want to care. I, I took three theater classes and an art class. The art class is really good and it's hard. But I've had some difficulties with that too and just the... What we're covering is pretty much just dead white Jesus and Northern European Renaissance Catholic art. And uh, I'm so sick of looking at dep depositions and fucking annunciations and fucking virgins and children and fucking white blonde Jesus that I could puke. So I didn't know that this class was going to be all that. And it wasn't explained on the, the introduction. And now I know before I take another goddamn college class, I'm going to request the fucking syllabus from the teacher up front so I'm not surprised four weeks in going when are we going to get to the Dada movement or when are we going to study you know uh, more interesting ethnic art when are we going to stop looking at fucking Virgin Marys um, I didn't know that that was the whole fucking scope of the class until I reread the syllabus like four weeks in and realized oh he skips all the good stuff so so it's just been a struggle and uh, honestly the, when I go to school I don't have time to do art as much as and that I'm an artist so this is like it's difficult because I want to get a degree um, to teach one day, hopefully art, but at the same time going to school for art and theater, I don't have any time to do any fucking art. So so I felt like quitting last week um, more than once uh, because of that whole theater thing. He just shit all over it. And then afterwards, he didn't even ask anybody to come up and look at it and it just was depressing. So after class, I just destroyed the whole fucking thing, tore it all apart, put it in a fucking box and took it home and got got kind of kind of butthurt over the whole thing, which... You know, I shouldn't give a shit whether anybody enjoys what I'm doing. I am trying to do what I do from here on out for my own enjoyment, my own satisfaction. But it's very difficult because I still am very competitive. And I still want people to appreciate the obvious time that I put into this shit. Because I, unlike other people, try hard to do everything good. Like, not just just one thing. I try to do everything. Everything I do, I try to give it my full fucking 110%. Like, I... I don't think there's any other way I know how to do shit at this point. If I, if I don't do it as well as I can, I feel bad. And I don't want to feel bad. So that's why I do shit as good as I can. Because that way I appreciate it. Then I can look at it and share it with people on Facebook or Instagram or whatever and be proud of it. So I, I'm going to put up the presentation I did. I know it's weird. It's very weird. But I'm weird. So the shit I make is weird. It's, it's you know, I imagined a far, far future Hamlet. How the fuck is that not going to be weird? So, I don't know. I don't know if he just didn't like it or it was a power thing because he wanted, he wanted my fucking presentation to be three and a half minutes like everybody else's was when it was supposed to be five minutes. He said minimum of five. And I did ask before, the weeks before, I said, is there a, you know, can I, can it be longer? Can it, you know, can I go 15, 20 minutes? He said it was okay. Um, you know, I, get, I, get, I always try to ask before I do anything in college, is this okay? Because I don't want to get knocked on some grade later because I didn't fucking follow their stupid fucking rules so so anyways that was just the last couple weeks and then I got I got I got yelled at because they had an NCAA basketball tournament at the Coliseum where I live and so they have all these rules about security and shit and I go and walk in that gym for two hours every day and one day I had to date I was about an hour into my two-hour walk, and they're, they're like, you got to get out of here. And one, this one little guy came up to me. He was like, you can't be in here. You almost don't your walk. And he was just super bossy. And uh, I told him I was almost done. And then he came up to me 30 minutes. I wasn't almost done. I was only an hour in, so I had an hour left. And he came up to me 30 minutes later and was like, you got to leave right now. You need to get get your stuff and get out of here. And I just fucking was like, who the fuck are you, dude? You, you own this gym? You run this gym? Is this your gym? I was like, I, I'm a student here. I'm using this gym like I do every day. I was like, you got a problem, you go get an administrator and tell me to leave. Have, have them tell me to leave because you ain't my boss and you ain't in charge of this gym. So, of course, 15 minutes later, he came back with some fucking pencil pushing administrator and they didn't ask me to leave. They asked me to go up to the second level <clears throat> to finish my walk and he was super polite. He was more professional. I just, I don't know, man. There's just, academia has all these levels of power and fucking control that these people on these rungs that are on the lower ends of it really feel like flexing their fucking 
little bit of authority and power they have. And the rebel anarchist punk rocker fucking person to me just wants to tell them all to go fuck themselves in their mother's cunt as hard as they fucking can. Because I hate them and I hate the fucking rules and I always have. Hence my face. You know what I mean? So that was my week. I'm over it now, now though. And I got a week off and I'm going to try to recharge and do some actual art. Uh, and um, that's what I'm doing. I got to, my, my wife's going to Colorado. I'm staying behind to, to catch up on my art survey homework and really study this stuff. Because that's the only class that's actually difficult to test or hard. And he requires us to memorize the names and actual pieces of art. And there's a shit ton of stuff we're looking at. And it's all very boring and very much the same. So it's hard for me to memorize it. <coughs> and I have a play to do after spring break and a paper to write. I got a bunch of crap I got to do just to, just to be caught up. So I can go into the next half of the semester without being stressed. So that's what I'm doing this week, starting tomorrow. But I thought I'd do an update on... On, uh... Instagram, not Instagram, fucking whatever the fucking... <laughs> YouTube. My tattoo's a week and a day healed. Still hurts a little bit, believe it or not. Still have an area by my jawline that's still a little rough. Um... It was, it was almost four hours. I got two more sessions on it, so I'm excited about that. Come April, I'll get another session on it. I've been getting better. I was sick two weeks ago. Yeah, about two weeks ago, I was really sick around this time. So I'm getting better with that and uh, planning some trips, hopefully, for between summer and one summer. I'm going to take one, one, one class this summer, uh, maybe a non-traditional printmaking class I'm thinking about taking. But... Anyways, hope hope everybody's doing well, and uh, I hope the world gets better. I hope we don't get drawn into some bullshit fucking world war with this whole thing with Ukraine. It really depresses me, and I try. I've been trying not to focus on it because there's not a goddamn thing I can do except for to try to be happy, and that's a challenge in itself sometimes with the way things are just here in my personal life. So, but I'm lucky and I'm blessed, and I should count my blessings that I'm able to go to school and college and try to, you know, better myself. Where some people have to go to a grind at this age in their life and I'm lucky to be able to kind of do whatever the fuck I want so no complaints just gratefulness even though sometimes it doesn't sound like I am I am so happy uh, whatever the fuck day it is whenever you're watching this and I'll try to do an update maybe in a couple weeks maybe when I do that piece of art anyways have a great day Pirate Wizard Dragon <laughs>